final round. <laughs> Show them who you are! <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to our March Madness Bracket Challenge. For today's episode, we have a really, really big one here. We are doing the best burger. Oh, cheeseburgers! Cheeseburgers! These are the big gunners here. As you can see, we have In-N-Out, Shake Shack, The Habit, and... and what my mom made. <laughs> in Brown Bag is actually five guys. So we picked these places because they kind of are in the fast casual range. So In-N-Out can be considered fast food, but the quality of In-N-Out is so high that we tested it against the three other made-to-order burgers. So Glenn here is a big fan of cheeseburgers. It'll be his turn to blind taste test all of these. Glenn, are you ready? Yes. All right, well, let's get our blindfold on. I feel it looks like it's tight. Oh, it's a little tight. Okay. So we're gonna have two rounds. The first round is just gonna be the meat patty and the cheese. After that, if they make it into the second round, we're gonna try out their double cheeseburger with all the fixings on there. So each restaurant is seated number one through four. Time for our first head-to-head -head matchup, the one seed versus the number four seed. All right, first up, we have the number one seed versus the number four seed. So this is just gonna be the meat and the cheese, no bread. So I'm gonna peel this bad boy off. Here you go, Glenn. Can you smell anything? Yeah. What? Meat and cheese. Oh, nice. The patty feels good. I'm going for a little bite. Bite teasing. The meat has texture, like it's not just like a mush. Like you can tell some parts are cooked more than other parts. Cheese is good. I've had better cheese, but seasoning? Yeah. It's good seasoning. The juiciness of the burger is really good. Very well rounded burger. If I were to improve it, it's probably the cheese. All right. Now the number four seed. This has the same kind of texture as the first one, but this one feels like there's more meat. Now, you know, I'm always down for more meat. This one's good too. They both have good flavor. Cheese is like the same. It's good, it's juicy. Can I have the one seed again? Okay. Mmm, comparing the two, huh? This is some of the best meat I've had in my hands ever. Surprisingly, this matchup's super close. The four seed is good, it's thicker, but the first seed is, has better texture on the meat. The meat is unevenly distributed on this, which is good. You know, so there's like some dips and valleys and mountains. This one just feels like it's flat. Oh, oh, all right, can I have that back? Oh, okay. If you have to pick one, then. If I'd have to go for, I mean, usually I think about quantity because I like eating a lot of food. I probably would go with the number four seed. But just going based on flavor and burger and texture, I think number one burger slightly overtakes number four burger. So the winner of this round, I'm gonna have to say number one. All right, first matchup of the day was a close one. The number one seed won, but barely over the number four seed. So moving on to the next matchup. Now we have the number two seed versus the number three seed. You wanna start with the two seed or the three seed? Give me both, actually. All right, two seed, here you go. Whoa, which is two, which is three? Two is your left hand. Three is definitely heavier. Yep, it's definitely heavier. This one's sauced up or something, or you put it in your mouth first. I didn't put it in my mouth first. This one feels thicker. It's like a lot more weight to it. If it's thicker, it's probably juicier. <laughs> That's good. It might just be the cheese. The cheese on this is really good. Oh god, that sounded like juice. <laughs> this one is juicier, mm -hmm. but honestly, I don't really like the flavor. Try it, try it, try a little piece. Why don't you just, why don't you just piece it off with your finger? Why do you make my hand go there? Like the flavor of the burger isn't as good as like something like this or the other two, but it is juicier and thicker. What's the flavor that you taste in number three? Honestly, it tastes like a little meatloafy. It doesn't have like a burger, like, like you know, remember I was saying uneven distribution? This has, what happened there? Is there a ghost? There a ghost? This is very, dish, it's like very flat. So it doesn't have that same texture that- Like the imperfections. Yeah. What's the flavor of the number two? I feel like the burger is seasoned a little bit better. And the cheese is better. I'm trying not to think about quantity because this thing feels thick. We like thick. Yeah, we like thick. All right, Glenn, I guess it's come down to it. You know what? This is not as close as one versus four seed, but this is very close too. Flavor wise, I think I'm gonna have to give it to the number two seed. Just because the cheese and the flavor of the patty is better. This one is juicier, it doesn't have the same texture, and it doesn't have the same cheese, and it doesn't have the same seasoning. But it is also really good. So you wouldn't mind eating the number three burger? None of these burgers I would ever discriminate. Wow. I love all y'all. True love wins. Wakanda. <laughs> all right, in the number two versus three matchup, it was another close battle, but number two is moving on. So I guess that brings us to our final round, the championship round, the number one seed versus the number two seed in the winner take all. Final round. Show them who you are. <laughs> now we have the final matchup. 
number one seed versus number two seed. In this round, again, folks, we will be doing a double cheeseburger with all their signature fixings on there. You ready, Glenn? I've been ready. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what was the noise? Uh, Going based on weight alone, Yeah. this one weighs more. Okay, okay. It feels more dense. Okay. All right, let's go to bread. Give it a little chin. Number one is softer. This one feels like, if I were to compare it, like a Tempur-Pedic mattress. Okay. This one right here is more like the pillow that goes with it. I'll go two seat. Have you seen a dog's purpose? No. <laughs> what? All right, sidebar. A <laughs> dog's purpose about this dog, and he keeps having a new lives. Every time like, he dies and reincarnates into another dog. And then at the end, he's a different dog, but he meets his first owner. This is it. I feel like I'm reunited with something that I've known and loved. Honestly, the sauce that's with this is really good. The vegetables, it's good. It's light, you can taste the veggies. They add a good, you know, refreshing taste to it. The pad is good. The cheese stands out a lot to me. This is a good balanced burger. It's okay. like a good all-arounder. This is like using Mario on, the, on Mario Kart. I'll go for number one seat. If you're gonna guide, it's gonna be like that. It's gonna be like this. <laughs> if you did, don't do that. That's weird, bro. Oh, that's it right there, Popeye. You're talking about lips, bro. What is that? Uh, sauce? Honestly, I like the beef better on this, but the vegetables, not that good. This is tough, bro. I think what I don't like about this, I think it's because the vegetables are on the top. I'm trying oh, to flip it up. Oh my now. god, don't do it. You did it. The patty here is more flavorful, plain and simple. The cheese isn't as good as this cheese. If I ate the burgers both like this, I think I would pick this one. But flipping this upside down and getting the veggies, maybe my taste buds are just... No, but burger architecture does matter. It's like you don't put pancakes on top of syrup. Dude, these are both delicious. The bread on this is so good. It's soft. It's different. It like adds a different component. The bread here, it's not overpowering, but it's not something to be remembered. I don't know, man. This is tough. I think that I have to think it over. Okay, we're going to do some deliberating. We're going to let our camera girl eat some of the burgers and we'll get back to you with our final decision. So Glenn has had some time to deliberate and he's here with his final verdict. All right, so I had the last two burgers. The number two burger was really well-rounded overall. Like nothing really stood out, but nothing was really bad either. The vegetables were good. It had a good sauce in there that I really liked. The cheese, I think I really, really liked a lot. It's like the highlight of that burger, I would say. You know, the patty isn't amazing, but it's not bad. The number one seed, the bread was really good. It's an exceptional. It's better than your average bread and you can taste it. And the patty is just like super flavorful compared to the other one. The veggies I didn't like so much, but I think that the flavor of the burger kind of overpowered it. If I got both of them without veggies, I definitely would pick number one. But since they both had veggies, there was more balance on burger number two. But going based on the fundamentals of a burger, which is meat, cheese, and bun, and the flavor of overall, I think I have to pick burger number one. Woo! The champ! All right, Glenn, you ready? Take off your blindfold. Oh, it's so bright! It's like I'm seeing God. <laughs> God, like I predicted. Number two was in and out. Number two was in and out. Dog's purpose. Ah, oh, dog's purpose. Let me tell you this. All things considered, if we were doing with cost, in and out would win, 100%. If he gave me this burger and said this burger cost $10, you kind of might turn me off already. Shake oh, Shack is the winner, I guess. It was a good burger. I mean, you can't deny it. The quality of the ingredients they used, probably top dog. All right, guys, we just want to thank you again for watching another one of our March Madness Bracket Challenge videos. If you guys agree that Shake Shack is the best burger, put that down in the comments. And if you disagree and think that one of the other three burger places Places or another burger chain that you like is better, put down in the comments down below. Keep watching us throughout the month of March to see the rest of our Bracket Challenge videos. And if you do like them, please subscribe. And I guess we'll see you guys next time on Hype Foods.